welcome 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 <coughs> shaya 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 yes mr kariso i see you mr nkwanyana mr wayne i see you brook lane 88 holaref i see you i love lungi shaya skumbozo biela shapa fred francisco shaya uh, does in the person hi bro your sound someone says my sound i hope my sound is fine let's talk business guys today we're not, we're not talking a lot of things today we just want to talk business we're not talking a lot of things today we just want to talk business today let's not waste a lot of time today let's just talk business shaya dr ref all the way from kimberley refill with hi ref hi bito much love from Kenya. Guys, let's talk a lot of uh, serious things today. Let me connect with someone. Is there anyone who wants to connect with me? Uh, let me just connect with someone. Meantime, we're waiting for... Let me just connect with someone who wants to connect with me. How are you? How are you? How are you? I hope my, my background is fine. Actually, I tried to create a mini studio. Mr. Tepiso Mutupi, bravo, I see you. Doctor, hey, how are you, sir? I'm great. <laughs> it's been a dream for this moment. Mm. Finally, it happened. Yeah, it finally happened. The doctor himself, the legend, the, the doctor himself. Yes, yes. No, I was just actually about to rest here. My time here is uh, almost one a.m. But someone says, "No, go live." I said, "Okay, maybe some people want to have uh, some few questions here." Uh, who are you, sir? What is your name? Uh, I was saying, Tabo. That's my name. Yeah, I represent myself as Oaheng Forex. Oaheng from where? Sosha. Sosha Nguve. Yeah. Eh, Sosha Nguve, okay. You are going to speak Yeah. But I'm also okay, speak English. Okay. Oh, I'm an... Hey, I was just honoring you, fella. I can see you were requesting. Let me cut you, man, without wasting any more time. I thought you've got a question or two. Yeah, I know, I do, I do. I just well, I just finished the introduction so you could know who I am. So, oh, doctor, okay. Yeah, doctor, I need your opinion upon psychology because I'm a good trader for mostly like, what, seven years background, right? But yeah. also my experience of three years. Yeah, around yeah, three years of live trading, right? But I'm struggling with one problem. I'm good in analyzing mm -hmm. the charts and when price is going to do what, and I can predict it for three days, right? And have a good memory of what the market is going to do. But I struggle in terms of getting being consistent enough to making the same profits because I could put mm -hmm. one and make one thou eight in a matter of only two hours, and I get that that's okay. right. But I struggle with the psychological block whereby I know that I'm a good trader. I know how to analyze, but why cannot not? Mm -hmm. be because I put in the work, so I'm like trying to get mm -hmm. that much. So I uh, you say you're a trader. I just want to understand your question. You say you're a trader, right? Yeah, but I'm struggling with psychology. You are struggling with psychology. Yes, in being consistent. I like yeah, that. That's okay, uh, you you know how to trade. Yes, but you are struggling with psychology. Yeah. Okay, so what is, uh, what is your aim exactly? What do you want to achieve in trading? I think, let me start there. That is the first question that I want to ask you. What do you want to achieve in trading? Me a simple freedom. Able to... Freedom. Yeah, for me, I'm looking for freedom. Not mostly the money. Because trading is a passion. I'm in love in trading. Trading for me at the right time. When I enter trading, it's out of love and passion. I like to trade. I like doing business. So for mm -hmm. this week, because it teaches me about money and how a company works, so I can open new businesses. Mm -hmm. So trading uh, teaches you how about money. Uh, I I just want to understand uh, you, where, where we are going with this. I know I'm asking you. You say in trading, what are you hoping to do? Are you you want to make money, sharp sharp? Yeah, but open business. Oh. Because I have one business. This is my first business. That's why I have a business in Forex. But I want to open okay. other business through Forex. Because if I'm in love with one, I got to have multiple. Mm -hmm. So for me, Forex is a passion. 
I love it. That's why. By the way, before you go, Madi. Okay, before you go, do you have a real account? Do you have an account to like a, yes, a real yeah. account? Yes. How much do you fund with? Mm, currently, right now, I'm um, have funded around three accounts. Each of them holding somewhere between four hundred, and I've. Uh, Zah, that ZDR, yeah. yeah, South African Zah. rand. Yes, and I do have uh, currently in my wallet. I have one thousand eight in Zah. One point eight in your in your wallet. Yeah, from my profits. That's it. In the trading account, you've got four hundred Zah. In your wallet, you've got one point eight. Yeah. And in your bank account. Zero zero point zero zero. I'm going somewhere here. <laughs> Uh, where, where I'm going is that uh, are you aware uh, that actually the reason do you know why you have psychological issues when it comes to um, trading? Do you know why? Yeah. You don't know why? Eh? Yeah. You know, sometimes I'm going to blame social media. I'm going to blame social media. One day I'm going to blame social media because so, social media, it is one of the main reasons why we have psychological problems when it comes to trading. Because of the profit that you make as a trader, you end up not appreciating it, not looking at your reality. Right now, you have 400 ZAR and 1.7 or 8 on your wallet. In your bank account, you have 0 0.00. When you make 500 rand in the, in, the, in, 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 in the trading, instead of taking that money and withdrawing it to your bank account, you want to make more and more and more and more and more. Not facing your reality that right now you can't even afford to buy yourself a bottle of water. It's bad. How next? next. But you want to make more and more and more and more money. So the issue about trading that is happening with a lot of people is that they are under pressure. They are rushing to somewhere which we don't know where is it. And this is all because of social media. Because social media you see someone who just bought a new car. We don't even know if that guy bought a car with trading or he bought it with your money, using someone's money or something else. We don't even know, but hey, someone just bought a car. So by the lot size. <laughs> if you look at the FON doing the lot size. You don't know the FON. He's able to, I'm able to risk 10,000 rand or 100,000 rand. You don't have that money to risk. So psychological problem, it's just a personal issue. Just to be real with yourself that, hey, can I really do this thing? That is why me, I became successful in trading at a very young age. You know why? It's because of I was real with myself. I'm in Soweto. I'm in Midlands. My mom cannot afford to buy Albany or Blue Ribbon. I can make a wee Woolworths. I can make a Woolworths. Woolworths is unknown. Blue Ribbon, Albany, or this one of called Quantum. They call it Quantum or Pick and Pay. A big. Yeah, it's called quantum. We can't afford that. So how can I let go of $20 or $30? Hey, I'm taking it out. I go to Siba. And I go to Siba. After I withdraw, withdrawing has a psychological phenomenon because the money comes into your hand. When it comes into your hand, you go in here, you go, don't even think twice. This thing of reinvesting profit, ah, it will come later. Come on, go and buy something with that money. Buy whatever, and when you buy that thing, I'm telling you, something happens that is unseen in your subconscious mind that makes you to say, "You, hey, this thing is possible." Then it becomes a recurring phenomena. So you, you, so your money must get to your bank account. It must go to your bank. As long as the money is not in your possession, it's on your wallet or MT4. It doesn't belong to you. Do you know that legally, the minute I take out the for you. The minute I take out this money and I say to you, can I know this your name, say, Oahi, Oahi? Tabo, you can call me Tabo. Tabo, oh, she's not my beauty, I know, it's a fraud woman. You've got two names. So the minute I give you this money, do you know that even if I'm just borrowing it to you or whatever, that money does not belong to me anymore legally. In other words, any money that is in your broker, in your brokerage account, it doesn't belong to you. You don't have money right now. I don't tell you 1.4 and 400 rand is money that you think you have. Tomorrow morning, it might happen that it's no more there. So in other words, people who are not withdrawing money to the bank account, psychologically, it's going to hit them all the time. Because of, 
Au final, il y a une réponse au bail à l'eau. Il y a une réponse à tout. And it must not even, it must not even be conscious. It's better. What you see, there's a social media you must cut it. Who you better know more points of focus on your trading. When you come back, now we meet, talk in the same level. Hey, Mr. Tom, how are you? You're talking in the same language. You're changing language. You know why? Because of now you're a big shot. We start to respect, but we don't see how you went up. Because if we have to see you like this, you're going to fail, can't it? Because social media is designed to depress people. So when if you are working based on social media, I told him, so my advice to you going forward, check this, it's like magic. Shut down your social media for two weeks, three weeks, go to your trading. I'm telling you, Tom Palato. I think we'll move. Because why? Can I do this? Can I do this? Can I Fine, and honor, honor pressure. Don't look at anyone. I'm telling you, most of the pressure, it comes from comparison. Comparing your, your, your trades with another person or comparing your progress with someone else. I'm telling you. Then the other one, the one if you say it's continuing this thing of psychology, then I'll say to you, I'll give you another side. But I'm telling you, social media failure is the problem. Believe me, uh, I'm telling you what I know. I saw it people and I go, ha, ah, I proved it. It happened. Uh, so uh, don't worry about anything. And the money must get to your bank. I wonder if the money can come to your bank. Why so? so. Mm. Ah, can I don't care what you do with the money or buy it. Or buy a one or Kenya a six pack or buy a whatever or chisanyama. The money is yours, but you need to spend it quickly and fast because it's designed. You know that the broker is designed for you to take the money back. Ash, guys, this is too much. Yeah, Mr. Ohil, Mr. Tao, it's hard. good. Let's give Anna a chance to ask questions. Uh, but go be the piece and say two two things: social media, be put it on pause. You'll come back as a big shot. Uh, as a big, I don't know how to watch it. I got a big shot there, man. So, uh, Ruby, Mr. Tabo, hey, Mr. Tabo, how are you? I'm good. I saw you like Tabo. Mr. Tabo, how are you? Yo, so, man, at this level, and I don't know how to do it. I don't know how to do it. I don't know how to So, uh, that is why I'm saying that, you know what, sometimes I blame social media. And it doesn't only work in trading, it works in other things. Celebrities, they also fall uh, uh, prone to this thing of comparing themselves with someone else. So you'll never get in, uh, uh, enough in life. Whatever money that you make in trading, look at your surroundings. Do I have this amount of money right now? No, take it out. That's it. Nice. You don't have this money right now. In spend it in that day. Or that well later. And how about what? Or what? Much better, I'm telling you. Right. I, we'll talk more, yeah? Okay, thanks, Vinny. <laughs> Guys, any more questions? I was just reprimanding him. He says he's a trader making profit, but psychological issue, and I know what is the issue, is because of his following people who are showing results each and every single day, whereas he does not know if it's even true those results or not. And if they're true, that's great, but we are all coming from different levels in life. I might be having 10,000 rent to risk, 100,000 rent to risk. You have maybe 1,000 rent. You can't compare yourself with me, uh, you see. So, and that is one of the reasons why I used to fail a long time ago in life and in Forex, because of I was looking at people who I didn't know much later that they're not even trading with their own money. They're trading people's money, account management. And I'm competing myself with this guy. So, with this guy of push. And that's listen, it's not even his money. So, guys, uh, let's roll up Forex if you want to succeed in Forex. You need to make sure that uh, you focus on yourself. As you just use us as an inspiration, like ah, this thing works. But to, to be looking at you, you're going to go crazy and you don't know what is happening. We draw. There's a second step that I gave it to you. Doctor, uh, any other questions, guys? Let me just check who wants to connect with me. Uh, Prince Topota. Who's Prince Topota? Uh, Prince Topota. Let's check. Prince Topota. If there's any questions that you want to ask, I said today we're talking business, we're not talking spirituality. Spirituality, uh, I'll come back to it in a later stage because I realized that, okay, even though people that are armed with spirituality, but still, hey, they're lacking hey, somewhere. Hey, How are yourself. you? I'm good on yourself. Mm -hmm. I'm 100%, but sometimes I'm even better than that. As a matter of fact, I'm getting better as I'm watching you. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. Uh, <laughs> hey, a couple of questions. My questions is, uh, I've been trading for around five, six years now. 
making okay. some profits i'm not i've been withdrawing making some profits not comparing myself with a lot of other people but but there is a but i find that depositing around 2000 rand trading making 5k making 6k and what what is not really putting me up there and i wanted to ask is it poss- is it perhaps through that the more money i put in the account like let's say i put 10000 rand or 25000 rand the higher that i will get mm-hmm. that world, you know uh, the truth about trading and in life in general and in business in general yes. the rich always get richer true true uh, the rich get richer so Uh, the as a, as a matter of fact, trading was never designed from the get go for you and me. Okay. It was always designed for the millionaires and the billionaires. It is a hedging tool to enhance the capital of those big shots. It's mm-hmm. only till the last 22 years, 20 years, 19, 18 years that trading has been open to you and me now. And you and me, who are we? We are just guys, you know. coming from Kasi coming from the street we we are hustlers or oh, what we don't have the millions we don't have the billions but we want to participate in trading so brokers came with something called leverage i don't know what you know what is leverage yes, i know i know i know yes, yes. Leverage. so leverage so brokers say guys because we're not billionaires we're not billionaires to participate in trading because before in trading you need to have at least 100,000 dollars do you know that yeah, yeah. yeah the minimum capital in trading the real brokers that i'm talking about now because uh, there are different types of brokers uh, even the other brokers that we're using are, they are real but there's a real 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 broker don't you have it okay. so uh, at the level of the gold yes, yes, those yes. are top tier brokers who are directly talking to the to the market so uh, 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 they are not middle men for the broker of today is a middle man but mm-hmm. that is just to be the technical stuff anyway so what happens is that now you need to, okay you must check this bank Uh, and you must check also um Reuters or you must check Bloomberg uh, they have also uh, uh, like you know trading platforms but you must have at least 100,000 dollars to yeah. fund your capital for one yeah. so yeah. up until recently we are able to participate in trading because of this thing called leverage leverage, leverage is 1 to 100 1 to 200 1 to 300 1 to 500 you see that thing yes leverage can be a good thing or a bad thing I mm-hmm. used leverage in a very good way but people are using it in a very bad way because okay. with leverage now it says that you don't need so much money anymore so you don't need to do 10k like you are saying 20k that you are saying no okay. you just need to increase your leverage but Yo. as you increase your leverage yeah ha that's the trick right. as you increase your leverage you just need to know what you are doing uh-huh. i don't think uh-huh. i get you because you. now the risk So you don't even need to have ten. As a matter of fact, with one thousand rand, I can do wonders. You can do that ten times one thousand. Yeah, one thousand. Okay. Using the power of leverage. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, yeah, 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 yeah. Hey, I'll tell you something. So leverage. Nothing. I'm, I'm, I'm a result of the leverage. Okay. So what do you think is the best leverage for me to use to, you know, prosper? One. How do you know what you are doing? If you know what you are doing. Yeah, yeah. At Xness, you will see that there's a leverage called one to uh, 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 one thousand. If you know what you're doing, but if you don't know what you're doing, go to one to six hundred, so that you can afford the few bags. Mm-hmm. Okay, okay. But when you know, guys like uh, another guy, Mr. Tinigo, another guy called Bafana Masile, the guy who wrote the book with where we get entries at the one minute. Where you check if you can check, man, uh, we got a stop loss of ten pips, twenty. Like we don't know when. Loss there, any loss immediately and goes into profit. Yeah, I yeah, there, yeah. I'm telling you, you have higher leverage. Yeah, okay, yes. okay, okay. I will give yeah. you a bit because currently I've been using like one is to five hundred, right? I mean, one yeah, five hundred. I when you go deeper, I know that is one of the reasons I like extension because uh, before extension I was using another one called FBS, and uh, that one was also giving a lot of leverage. Yeah, but it's only when you know what you are doing. If you don't know what you are doing, stay far from leverage. Take it very easy. Take it oh. very easy. Take it very easy. Yeah, but I'm just giving you an answer. Oh, you don't need thousands like before. Ten thousand, twenty thousand. Uh, leverage now. It makes you be able to have as if you have more. One broker, uh, uh, JP Markets. If you remember, JP Markets. It used to, yeah, yeah. JP Markets. One of the reasons why actually 
Uh, that's my hypothesis. I think there was a problem there because he was giving a leverage now that was problematic because of he says whatever amount that you fund, I'll give you double that amount. And his left it was his bonus was the real bonus because it's not the bonus of today. Because the bonus of today, even when the uh, your, your your drawdown can go to that, it will blow. But he's the one he can still go into. So he was giving you money times two. That guy actually he was giving you money. I will freely so. But people didn't really? catch it very easily. Yeah. Lucky are those of the time who, who made a lot of profit with it. And when Nasdaq came about, that is how all of us in, in really, really went deep into Nasdaq because of that leverage. It is a powerful, powerful tool. But you need to know what you're doing. But you're you need doing. to know what you're doing. Yes, yes. Yeah, you need to know what you're doing. And there's different types of leverage, by the way. Um, different types of leverage. Uh, now, in Forex, we're talking about the leverage of 1 to 500, or, you know, 1 to 200, all these things. But in business language, we also have another leverage called OPM and OPT. I don't know if you know that. If you want to fuck with me and you got kids, I need to do a mandatory meet and greet with your baby daddy. That's right. A mandatory.